Good morning, good morning, good morning. Just want to share a quick word with you all. You are in a fight whether you realize it or not. Spiritually speaking, you are in a battle. You see, the enemy walks the earth like a roaring lion seeking those who he may devour. Okay, key word, may devour. Now the question then becomes, when the enemy looks at you, do you look like an easy target or have you been on your post? Okay, have you been filling yourself up spiritually every day? Have you been seeking the Lord? Have you been spending time with the Lord? Have you been getting in God's presence? Have you been doing what you should be doing? That's the question. Because see, you're in a battle whether you realize it or not. Many people, they only fight back, right? They only fight back when they feel an attack. They say, oh man, I need to pray. Oh, this is going on, I need to pray, right? They have a defensive mentality. As long as everything's going good, there's no reason for you to press in, right? It's a good day. Look, the sun's out, I see a rainbow. It's no need right? For me to extend myself. Unless something crazy going on, then that's when I need to step in. See, that's the wrong mentality. The mentality you want to have is an offensive mentality, right? You want to wake up attacking the day spiritually, right? You want to wake up attacking evil. You want to wake up, you want to be a force to where the, when the enemy looks at you, he say, oh man, that dude's up again. Oh man, that lady's up again. Oh man, there they go again. Man, look, I ain't going over there. I don't want to mess with them. You know what? You want the enemy to look at you and say, man, you know what? I hope, I hope the Marcus don't go into that place today. I hope the Marcus don't go around them. I hope the Marcus sleeps in the day and doesn't pray. I hope Demarcus doesn't do this. I hope Demarcus, uh, I hope somebody distracts Demarcus today. You know what? I hope somebody at about five o'clock PM today decides to discourage Demarcus or try to discourage them, right? See what I'm saying? See, that's how that's how the enemy tries to set it up. And guess what? He'll send somebody your way. He's gonna pick somebody who's distracted, right? Somebody who's not spiritually tapped in right? He just needs a decoy. And listen, he has plenty of them out here. So I'm here today to tell you, if you're on the offensive end, you're already one up on the enemy because you know what you're looking out for. Then it becomes fun for you. Because see me, I'm on, I'm on the attack and it's fun for me, right? Because I'm on my post. <laughs> you know, I'm on my post. And guess what? You know, See, you can't pour from an empty cup. This type of cup, like you got to wake up. You got to press in. You got to ask the Lord to fill you up so that you can pour out. So I just want to remind you all that you are in a battle. Choose to be on offense. All right. We got to attack the evil. We got to impose our will on the day. We can't just sit back. Right. I'm not sure who this message was for, but I hope you have a great day. And remember, you in the fight, whether you want to realize it or not, you know, you don't have to throw haymakers. You don't have to, you don't have to throw big punches. Sometimes you may just have to bite. Sometimes you may have to headbutt. You know, sometimes you may have to bump somebody with your kneecap. You know what I mean? Spiritual. You may just have to send up a little prayer. You may just, you may not have a scripture on your mind. You may not know any scripture. You, you may just want to give somebody some encouragement. Whatever God, whatever you feel like God will use you to do, you just need to get active and just do something. But don't just be an idle body standing around because you just in the way. Like you got to pick a side, you know, you want to be on God's side or you want to be on the enemy side because you're going to get used by either one. So you got to tap into what God wants to do here on this earth. See, we're just in an earth suit right now, right? You know, you belong to heaven. You just work here. <laughs> this earth, you just work here on this earth. You belong to heaven. That's your citizenship. <laughs> All right. And as long as we are here, guess what? We got work to do. So we got to get busy. You have a purpose. Don't think small. You know, don't think small. Many people think, okay, I got to get gas today. I need to stop and get some bread up. Oh, I need to do this. I need to do this and then do this. And then my day is complete. No, see, you're thinking small. You're only thinking about the natural responsibility, but think about your, your citizenship. Think about spiritually what God wants you to do. All right. Whenever you tap into that, guess what? It gives you a whole new purpose. You know, we ain't talk about getting no bread. You're going to get your bread. You're going to be all right. You know how to get bread. You know how to pump gas. Like this stuff is easy. 
we got to press in and be challenged and make a difference for the kingdom, okay? So I just want to challenge you this morning. You in a fight, whether you want to realize it or not. So kick, claw, you know, push, whatever you got to do, but get 1% better today, all right? Love you all so much. Y'all have a great day.